So now our first array is ready to go. We could start using it just like this. But two years from now, if you decide, hey, I want to add another drive, or even six months from now, you're running low on space, you want to get a little bit more, I want you to know how to add another hard drive. So we're going to do that now. Just going to shut down this system. It's as easy as this. And uh, Unraid is going to power off your computer for you. And we're ready to install another hard drive. So I've grabbed a 400 gigabyte hard drive. And we're going to activate this in the array. So because we've just booted up our system, uh, now the array is running. It's started right now. So we need to stop that array so that we can manipulate which drives are in the array. All we have to do is on the main panel, just click on Stop. And now, when we go into Devices, we're going to see the option for Disk 2. We're going to see that there is a new drive available there for us to uh, set up as Disk 2 in the array. When we add that drive, it's going to have a blue icon because it's not initiated. It's not ready to go on the, uh, on the array itself. So in this case, because uh, the array is already functional, the array has already been built, there's already parity on the array, we need to actually check off this checkbox that says, I'm sure that I want to do this. Read through that uh, information there to find out what it is that you're agreeing to. And then you can press Start. What that's going to do is it's actually going to go through that hard drive, the one that we just added, the 400 gig, and it's going to wipe it completely clean. It's going to get rid of every bit of data that's on there, write it over with uh, zeros, and then it's going to format it and get it all uh, up and running for you, add it to the array. Uh, the reason that this is a good thing, the way that Unraid works, is because, for example, because we've had to stop our array, we're not doing this on the fly, it can be annoying if you were in a production environment where, okay, now our data is unavailable for the duration of this event that we're going through, uh, adding a new drive. But we hope that we don't have to do that often, right? But here's the advantage is the fact that if the array, if one of the drives in the array were to crash at this point during the, uh, during the time that it takes to build this hard drive into the array, you still have parity. The parity is still good for that drive, so you replace that crashed drive and you're able to, uh, to rebuild that from the parity drive. So that's a very good thing. Uh, so we don't have to worry about data loss in this case. So, so once you've started that process, this could take a fairly long time. It's not going to take as long as the parity drive did, I'm sure. But it is going to take, you know, I would allocate an hour, maybe two hours to this. So walk away from the system, come back, and you're going to be greeted with the ability to format the drive now. You're going to be presented back to where we were when we first uh, set up our array, where this drive is now ready to go. It's ready to be a part of the array, but it hasn't been formatted. So once again, just like before, all we need to do is click on the Format button and let that go.